Well, hello there to my Taurus. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all, Taurus. Let's see if this video goes up or some strange happenings are happening. All right, Taurus, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Happy Sunday. You may be watching this video on Saturday, December 16th, but this, re this video, video is for the 17th of December through the 17th of January, 2024. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. All right. All right. <sighs> Here we go, Taurus. Talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart. I've already prayed over your cards. I've already asked Taurus questions, and these are the answers to those questions. What's the card leading this deck? Eight of Pentacles. Taurus keeps trying to tell somebody how to spend your time, how to circulate your time. And something is somebody spending a lot of time on something that calls you a nightmare. Come on now, Taurus. Come on, come on, come on. Talking to you if you have Taurus anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but how are you spending your time? When I pray over your cards, I'm asking about your money. Time is money. Your money, I'm asking about your where you need to take actions, your spirituality, your emotions, your creativity, your power, your intellect. Somebody's spending a lot of power and intellect spending. That means you're giving away time to other energies. In other words, all this thinking is going through the airways. You're sending out these messages through the airways. It is, other people are catching your thoughts, right? And it's giving them creativity to actually use. They're saying, okay, whew, I got this information from the universe. They may not know you in particular, but you're actually giving people ways to make money. You're giving them ideas because you're somebody's living in a nightmare. Somebody here, we had the page of pentacles, the ace of wands, the four of wands, and the devil card. Yeah, the devil card. The more you call people the devil, they were the devil. I wasted my time and you burning yourself out. So it's just like all you have to do is release it, toss it into a burning bowl. Here we have the four of uh, four of wands. We have the page of pentacles and we also have the ace of wands. All you have to do is take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. But somebody is still battling their own inner demons. Having to do with your head and heart being at war with each other. It obviously goes a lot deeper than that. Because when we're talking about the four and five, when we're talking about the five of wands, something is generational here. Having to do with your spirituality and your spiritual beliefs that somebody is battling with, right? And so source is saying, whatever your spiritual beliefs are, somebody is battling with it. When you come in contact with people who are free, it can cause you to have a nightmare. If you haven't come, if you haven't stepped into rooms other than your room, your Taurus room, like your sun sign. Remember, your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. So that's part of what sets you apart from every other Taurus on the planet. So it can't just be one dimensional where you're just talking about money. I just need to raise at work. That's a physical existence of things. But what if you're cutting into your money at work because you had a nightmare the night before and you're not even coherent in the workplace? You miss out on stuff and assignments. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? You're giving people ammunition. We get somebody an example of what I'm talking about because I see money coming across your path, but it's coming across as as uh, uh, as information for incoming information about how you spend your time, right? Let's say, for instance, um, <clears throat> yeah, it could have been somebody you were married to. Here we have the hold on the Chariot card, the Lovers card. Here we have the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. We also have the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of uh, Queen of Swords, and also the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Okay, here we have the chariot card. So this is about balance. Balance, balance, balance. The Gemini, we're not talking about any Geminis that you know. Um, we have the queen of swords. You, you could literally think that somebody is living a double life. Like you literally, if you buy into that, like somebody is presenting themselves to be one way, but there's a different kind of way then that could give you nightmares when recognizing that there's more than one, there's more than one um, aspect to everybody, right? If a person is operating in their purpose and you don't know what your purpose is, that could cause you a nightmare. Or you could be, <clears throat> this is right here, somebody desires peace and harmony and, and family relationships and that kind of thing. Maybe for somebody else, their peace and harmony is a different kind of thing. Maybe for them, they need to feel protected and nurtured by you. 
Maybe you feel need to be protected and nurtured by your own, your blood relative family. And you could marry a spouse that feel like they need to be protected by you, right? Again, two totally different frequencies. Bottom line is that source is saying, this is a time of learning lessons while you're on your throne. Here we also have the page of pentacles. Like I said, source is sending it in first as information. That's what's going to send more money across your path is saying the information is recognize that everybody on the planet has demons. Here we have the two of pentacles. Everybody on the planet has demons. So when you want to say that your ex-spouse, ex-partner, ex-whomever is a demon or a devil, you may want to reel that in. <laughs> For real, because everybody has demons. Everybody has. The person who doesn't think that they have demons would be the devil themselves, right? Because the devil is the only energy that tries to rival God. Like, even though God created the devil. Go figure, right? So, when people say they don't have crosses to bear or demons, it better for you to say, okay, source, help, help me with those things that irritate, bring me to a lower frequency and talking negatively about people, doing something negative that could hurt somebody. Even if I feel like they hurt me first, I got to come back and hurt them. You know, something, something exposed somebody's demons of fear and doubt as it relates to some things, you know, and being connected to energies, right? So somebody wants to be connected to um, something that has to do with uh, family or be connected. Want, somebody wants to be accepted in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Like you're talking about accepting more information. You want to accept some truth. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. It's like Source is like, accept the truth that everybody has demons. Everybody has demons. Sit on your throne carefully. Vet your thoughts. If it's something negative, if you're talking to somebody, somebody the devil, or they practicing devil worship, then you need to be away from them. It, it does, I mean, it, it literally is that simple. If you really believe that, you need to be as far away from energies that you feel like are the devil. It's that simple. Everything is trying to line up perfectly for you. Here we have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, Eight of, uh, eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Because the only person that can save you is you. only person that can save you is you. So this Nine, Ten, and Nine, right? Nine of Cups. I'm seeing Wish Fulfillment. Source is saying to you, everything is lining up perfectly for you. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. Somebody be, could somehow be connected to music in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And <clears throat> um, when you desire a mate, right? When you desire a mate, and if your religious beliefs are that we're supposed to cover each other, Right? then somebody needs to get their family together, like for real. If you're looking for, okay, my family, they just love me and they just, they, you know, then, then somebody don't need to be in a romantic relationship. If you feel like, okay, I can't cover my spouse and I want my spouse to cover me, then that's what I'm just saying here in the cards. That's why somebody could feel like somebody is demonic or whatever it is. But here we have the Queen of Pentacles. Mm -mm -mm. The uh, five of pentacles and get away from trash talking energies for somebody. I mean, three and five is eight. Source keeps sending you information about two types of energies. It's two types of energy. Source keeps sending people. And Source is saying, I'm trying to increase your money. Like, like spend more time, like circulate your time in becoming more knowledgeable. What were the lessons that Source wanted me to learn about some things? So. Not sure who I'm talking to, but somebody's head and heart were at war with each other. See this fuzziness in this card? Somebody's definitely head and heart were at war with each other. So just recognize really that, that people evolve, whoever it is. We have the Eight of Pentacles came out three times. So it's like I keep telling you three times, like somebody is spinning it. Okay, let me help somebody with this. And I feel like I'm, I'm doing this with every reading, not just Taurus, but just every sign. Trying to help as much as possible. I feel like when I look at the cars here, that somebody is spending more time on past relationships that haven't worked out than being focused on what lies ahead. And the beauty of taking the lessons from the past nightmares that you may have been in. So Source knows that something just was not on your same frequency doesn't mean that they were the lower or y'all just weren't on whoever you were not on the same frequency instead of continuing to give power to that they were a nightmare my ex did this to me they was that so on and so on and so forth 
Sources saying do less talking about it or down to zero talking about it. And as source talking to God, source, what lesson did you need me to learn about myself in all of this? What did you need me to learn about myself in all of this? Because I'm sure you allowed me to go through something for a reason. What was I supposed to learn about me? That's where the wealth is going to come from. One of the things is that for you all being ruled by Venus, Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. But it's also the planet of art, music, aesthetics. That may be something you want to start on your list with. Connecting with people who love art, music, aesthetics of life. People who are peaceful, you know, they are peace. Nothing is going to rattle their peace. They're able to communicate that. Like, sources, like, what is the lesson that you learned, you know, from instead of giving so much? So, your head and your heart don't have to be at war with each other. Everything is lining up perfectly for you. You've been working hard, some kind of partnership in business. And or in love is coming across your path. And it looks like a business and a partnership in business and love coming across your path. So, I'm seeing two marriages here, business, a, bar, uh, business, a partnership in business and partnership in love, right? So it's just that somebody's going to have to get their temper under control, for real. Because if somebody is giving you this much angst from your past and causing them to awaken nightmares, because somebody, it, 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 you know what? This is what it looks like when I look at your cards. It looks like somebody is frustrated because they didn't, let me see how I can tie this together. It looks like somebody could have married people who didn't feel protected by their family. And for you, you may have felt, you may feel protected by your family, but they're expecting for you to be like, like your card in tarot is the Hierophant card. They're protect, they're expecting for you to honor your vows, whoever, whatever that, those vows, V-O-W-S, your vows. They're expecting, they were expecting for you to honor your vows when it came to your friends, when it came to your family, when it came to just like, okay, let's, we need to cover each other. Those need to be discussed up front because I do see some kind of partnership in love and in business. So if you're showing this temperament off top to a new love interest that you going off and that's a B-I-T-C-H and that mf -er did such and such, I'm so mad, they got me so pissed off. They could run a person away because they're like, okay, wow. I mean, they still sound like they got some feelings about them. So, source is saying, pick up these swords right here. These two swords right here. Stop talking about who you think is a narcissist and master manipulator and all this blah, 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 and move on. Again, everything is trying to line up perfectly for you. In the workplace and everything. Here we also have the Knight of Coins. You've been working hard. You deserve to have a raise at work. But you also deserve to understand. I, I feel like somebody really needs to study their ruling planet Venus. When I look at your cards here, it shouldn't be this hard. It, for somebody, it really should not be this hard in understanding people. Like if you really need the physical, like the physical aspect of things. Like, okay, you know what? I know I love these things in life. Okay, let me connect with these people. So you may find, let's say, for instance, you find somebody who likes art and music, right? But their definition of peace is not the same definition of yours. Then you need to leave. Like, put that list of things together that you absolutely love. And don't be ashamed to hide it. I mean, don't be ashamed to share that with somebody. Like, family is important to me. I love feeling the protection and the nurturing for my family. They can be a little much. Whatever, whoever's family it is, but that's that's where my that's where my support base is. Give people an opportunity up front to know exactly what nurtures your spirit, so they can say, okay, that works for me, or it doesn't work for me. If it doesn't, cool, okay. Then we just saved each other a, a, a nightmare. That's all sorts of trying to get somebody to do, because somebody is tempted to go back to something. I'm telling you, when new love and new um, new things are about to come. <clears throat> new love relationship and a new partnership in business is about to come. Guess what pops up? A dream, some kind of download, phone call, text message. Somebody brings up an ex. Something comes back up in your spirit where you like tempted to go back. But then you think about the nightmare. Good. Memories are good. If it was a nightmare for you, then guess what? It was a nightmare. So it's just saying keep on moving forward. And, and childlike faith, moving forward. Get your head and heart together. 
how are you spending your time? How are you, how are you, um, how are you circulating your time? Are you giving them more time than you giving what's in your face? Are you giving them more time? Are you giving your nightmares more time than you giving your blessings? Like time, time is money. So, so it's just saying whoever or whatever it is, you got some blessings coming your way. So give zero time to anything that caused you a nightmare. You learned a lesson. You got the message loud and clear. Move on. There it is. Close it out. I am limitless. Close it out as tight as the zero right here. There is no beginning and no end. Um, all is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new sight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. So it's just trying to help somebody increase their prayer life for real. Like it seems like somebody's doing too much talking about their nightmares and not enough praying to source and sitting down in receiving mode about, I mean, seriously, when you think about every time something that gave you a nightmare in your past comes up, I need you to type it in your cell phone. You know how like you get the analytics, like if you spend this amount of time on Facebook or this amount of time on Instagram or this amount of time here, I need y'all to start every time something from your past comes up, watch how much time in a day it pops up. Even if somebody else brought it up and you didn't stop them, look at the clock the moment it starts talking and then look at it afterwards. How many times a day does something come up in your mind? You know, you're getting closer and closer to this breakthrough, this blessing coming across your path and something is trying to pull you back. It's your, it's your lowest self, your demons trying to pull you back, trying to keep you chained to fear, doubt, uncertainty about what's to come. I'm trying to help somebody, Taurus. I'm telling you, you're giving human beings way too much power. Looking at the cards, so you're giving somebody with some energies way too much time talking about how manipulative they are. How, you know, you're talking about people's sexuality. You're talking about all kinds of stuff. And sources like, well, uh, you putting somebody on the pedestal is if they're your God. Remember, the devil is a God. So if you call somebody the devil, it's like, okay, are you, are you a devil worshiper? Because <laughs> the more you, the more, as much as you talk about the devil, more than you talk about the most high God. Like, like uh, add some logic to it. Like, make it make sense. So if you really feel like somebody's a devil and you don't worship the devil, then stop talking about it. Stop giving it praise. I can't believe the devil did this. The devil made me do it. Okay. So that's what I'm saying for you. I am always mindful and I live within each moment I have. That's it. That's what source. That's an affirmation somebody needs to say. I am always mindful that okay, if I if my mind starts drifting towards who call who I feel like calls me a nightmare because they really didn't, but whoever I think calls me a nightmare, then I need to start documenting that and looking at how many times that comes up in my mind. Because what some people will do is like, well, no, somebody else started talking trash about them, and I was just sitting there listening. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you sitting there listening to somebody you feel like somebody called the devil? You're on the dark side of the number seven. The dark side of the number seven is keep on asking, how can they don't know how much I love them? I would have protected them. I would have covered them. I would have. And I mean, my family, they just source is saying, look, okay, you're doing too much talking and not enough learning from God. So you got to ask yourself every time you start giving you know, a painful past that much energy without putting yourself in some kind of therapy or some kind of alternate healing, alternative healing, so you can heal from all of this. You got to ask yourself, what, what are you worshiping? Aff affirmations for clarity. I am clear on my purpose. I am here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. That's it. Towards the things that matter. If I got to call somebody the devil, then, hey, then I definitely don't need them to be around me. Not in my mouth. <laughs> you know, I ain't talking negatively about them. I got purpose. And that's what source is trying to get somebody. It's just like, what is your purpose? Why are you here on this planet? Somebody is giving their nightmares is way too much energy, way too much energy. They left me uncovered. I felt unprotected. I didn't know this. They should have told me that. You should have asked. Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while you're also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. Yep. Just like somebody should have asked you, what's your family relationships? 
what is nurturing and protection feel like for you? You could have asked them about other stuff. Like you could have asked them the same questions and your friendship, just like you would interview somebody for a job. Since somebody has everything lining up perfectly for you, I see you in a, I see you in a, in a leadership position. Somebody's going to ask you those questions. Why aren't you asking those same questions in your personal life? Why aren't you asking your questions in the personal life? There's a probationary period. If you're dating somebody, there's a probationary period. What are your views on marriage versus their views on marriage? Some people don't have traditional views on marriage. Some people are like, okay, if I feel like you breached that contract, divorce. And they have no, their mindset is not the same as yours. They're not going to sit there and pretend like everything is fine if it's not. Their mindset is like, you know, I tried, but you breached the contract. As far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm moving on. And as people, are they deal breakers? Like there are some, speaking of marriage here, there are some churches, like there's, there's some places, churches, mosques, uh, temples and stuff, they go through premarital counseling. Some people don't go through that. Some people just feel like, okay, I can just ask certain questions or whatever and, you know, I'll get my answers. I guarantee. So anyway, looking at your cars here, sources saying to you, be mindful of the time that you spend on things. Because if you're dating somebody and... Your everything is not in alignment with what your belief systems are, your values, and your traditions, and things like that. Why are you still in it? Like, why are you still talking about their family, what they come from, their demonic? They practice this. You're just giving it too much energy. So, I will see you all for Motivational Monday. This is what I have for you here: the questions for the Moon and Pisces. Um, cause as we move from the moon in Aquarius, which you already have those questions and moving to the moon in Pisces, it can be emotionally overwhelming to a point that you can't even articulate your emotions, but just notice somebody's on the cusp of something big happening in both your personal and your professional life, which is why memories of your past are coming up. So there are people talking about your past and talking trash about this and that and whatever the case may be. So it's to say, stop them. You're not defending the person from your past that's outside of your universe you are defending your own you're being your own gatekeeper of your own vault i don't want that mess in my vault so first question is could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds second question is could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive um, and channel true love. Third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? That is flushing it out through detox or drinking more water, eating less sugar, less caffeinated drinks. Any staying away from anything that's going to further dehydrate you. Were you spending more time talking about nightmares and who's manipulative and who's a psychopath and who's a sociopath and who's frustrating you? Spending less time with that because that's all you're doing is feeding your demons and more time on what lies ahead. I need to be in perfect sync and harmony with myself so I can communicate that to anybody that wants access to my universe. That is what I have for you. I will see you all on. Motivational Monday. Hopefully those questions have helped you. Bye.